Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of uh, Hell House Board Reviews. It's your boy Deluxe with the Sharecats Uncut Crew, as always. If you don't know us, check us out. We're, uh, we can make some people giggle a little bit. Transformer podcast, if you never heard. <laughs> Anyways, um, today I have um, Armada Star- Starscream uh, to review today. Um, I know it's out of the blue. I'm a big Starscream fan, if you don't know. Um, but this Starscream means uh, a big deal to me because. He was actually one of the first uh, Transformers to get me back into collecting back in uh, 2001. I think when Armada came out, 2000, give or take. I did have, I did, you know, I got it with RID and I got a couple figures, but I, I just didn't really fall back into it. But I uh, saw this guy walking into um, Walmart, I think. And, you know, and I was like, man, I loved Starscream as a kid, you know, and everything. And I just, I didn't know they had a new line coming out. So um, I picked this guy up. First guy I picked up, and um, it just uh, spawned from there. You know, I uh, found eBay. You know, it's the devil, and um, ordered a bunch of G1 stuff and everything. But uh, I have to say, this guy really got me back into collecting about yeah, 15 years ago. So um, if it wasn't for him, he, you know, he, you know, I probably would never even uh, start collecting. Anyway, um, here he is. He's a jet. Um, he's got a little mini con. Uh, their little. Uh, little stick or whatever it was, uh, mini cons, you know, which were pretty cool. I liked them. I, I love the, uh, aesthetic, you know, and what they were used for. And I thought they were a pretty cool add-on, you know, for what they were. Um, this is a little jet mode. He's got a, let me right there. This turns into his, a uh, sword. I'll show you later. Uh, pretty cool figure. Got the blasters up here. A little head showing up right there. Sound effects. Mm-hmm. Don't get any better than that, man. God, just love this kind of stuff. Uh, Kind of, you know, weird looking. I, I don't know what kind of he is. He's a jet, but I, I don't know what kind of Cybertronian jet, maybe. I don't know. Um, Star Trek in the show, uh, it was a pretty good, decent show. Armada was okay. You know, had some good characters in it. Um, he, uh, Megatron really couldn't trust him, and, you know, he really, I, I, I haven't seen the show in a long time, so I'd have to go back and actually research in it. But um, he gets turned in, I think uh, Star Trek dies, and he gets turned into Thundercracker, I think. Well, he's blue. He's a blue star screamer. I don't know. Um, and he, he becomes a pretty big, you know, pretty badass. Uh, I think you know that that I remember. Um, so was, you know, Megatron was kind of a uh, uh, really an ass to him. But you know, what do you expect? You know, it's Megatron. Uh, which Megatron, the, the Megatron uh, mold is pretty good too. I like that mold uh, for Armada, the tank mode. Uh, anyways, these were some, you know really simplistic, you know, uh, transformations. Not much going on. Um, hope you can see that. It's got good colors to it, you know, like that. Here's Swindle. Um, it's his little mini con. He just transformed like this. Uh, legs, probably got that. Bam, like that. Um, nothing really articulation, just like this. He just, you know, bodybuilder. Get you sucker, um, kind of thing. So this is Swindle. It's just a little thing. So I'll just transform him back. To car mode, um, his little gimmick. Um, put these little holes in him right here. That's what she said. Giggity, right there. And then he makes a little noise. And uh, they do shoot. I think they do. Are you? Am I lying to you? I guess I'm lying to you. Oh, no, they do. That shot. That shot. So that's pretty cool. Yep, it does shoot. There you go. So, they still shoot, pretty cool. Um, so, let's put these back here. So like I said, you know, it's a good figure. Um, he's one of my, one of my favorite Star Screens probably. I, I like the mold. Um, you know, he's got some, you know, a backpack issue when I transform him, you know, if everybody knows. Um, real easy to transform him at. Right here, takes arms right there. Legs right here. And he's got little, uh, Little foot hook. Oh, listen to that. Some ratchets, man. Shoot. They had ratchets back in 2000. So, that right there. His hands up there. So, he goes like this. And the head little pops up. And he does make noise. This right here. So he's got the little hands. Flip out. And I can get these. I get the foot. Hand foot out. Work with me, Star Screen. Come on. All right. And there is Star Screen. 
Hopefully y'all can see him. We'll just go back a little bit. And then all his mighty -ness. Um, Like I said, twist these right here. Like that. Um, he has a sword. Comes off. So you leave like a little thing right there, which is kind of weird. But yeah. Whatever. And he holds his sword pretty good. Right there. There's star screen right there. And like I said, he has the back problem, backpack problem. I, I wish they would have found a way that, you know, you could just collapse that and then collapse these two right here because they did it with Jetfire in the classics. But, you know, this was, you know, 2000, 2001, you know, I, you know, I don't think they really cared about that. So that's a big problem right there. Um, he takes up a lot of space on my shelf. But um, I hope y'all are seeing that right. Yeah. So... There's Star Trek, and like I said, he does the same thing um, with his mini con. And he's got little ports everywhere so he can be held right there. And we got that kind of thing. And, you know, he can be held on his arm right here as a thing. So in the show, they would, you know, you know give him powers and stuff, you know, and they'd blast off and everything. And I hope y'all can see that. Look at that. You know, it's pretty, you know, he's cool. Got a good uh, sc uh, face mold and everything. Um, articulation right here, and all that. You know, he's got the little arm. Uh, that he don't go out like that. Uh, ratchet knees for some reason, which is cool. Uh, no ankle tilt. You know, kind of a upgraded G1 version, kind of. You know, that not a lot of uh, articulation, just like the G1s were bricks and everything. So, you know, they they got better as they went along with Cybertron and Energon. And you know, further on that like, classic line and everything. Um, I didn't do any size comparison, but I'll do some. Here is the updated version. Here's the little one, Generation Star Screen, from uh, a couple years ago. And why not get a uh, laser beak from uh, Armada in here? Let's transform him real quick. Woo! He had noise too. That's weird, huh? So. Ew. Right there, put a star screen right there. So that's the size of uh, this is what the uh, kids uh, carried around. He's an Autobot. Uh, that's what the kids carried around, you know, whenever they were, uh, whatever. Kids were kind of, their kids were kind of annoying in that one too. So, anyways, um, you know, I I love I like this guy. You know, let me see if he's lookable. Um, yeah, he's lookable. I'll probably get cancer from that one too. But anyways, um, gonna uh. Do some floor time with him, if you don't mind. Hope y'all can see. See his head sculpt and everything. Hello. Mm. Stay alive, stay alive. Ha, 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 ha. Stay alive. Okay, sorry. I went on a little tangent there. Sorry. Um, anyways. Uh, so I'm going to get down on the floor and um, play around with this guy. I don't really have a big skit for him. I uh, just want to say he's a very important piece in my, you know, in my collection. Um, I will always keep this guy. Um... Like I said he got me into it. You know, I just walked in the store and saw it up there on the shelf. I was like, wow. Had those little bubble kind of uh, packaging, kind of weird packaging stuff. But, uh, you know, Armada, you know, got me into Transforming, you know, Transformers again. And, you know, he's a, a big uh, reason why. And uh, that's why I like Star Trek. But, anyways, I'm going to get on the floor real quick. No. Right. All right, I hope you can see this. All right, just gonna play along. Well, hey there, uh, Top Spin, or Twin Twist, Top Spin. Which one are you? I don't know. I get y'all confused. I'm Top Spin. I'm Twin Twist, Top Spin. Okay. Well, anyways, you just stand there looking pretty. Oh. And you gonna do it? This one's gonna jam on me, aren't you? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Gotcha. How you doing, Megatron? You're not so big yourself now, are you? Huh? You suck, boom. Hey, overlord. <clears throat> Hit you with a sword. Hit you with a sword. All right. Hey, Debbie, how you doing? You right. <laughs> Anyways, I ain't gonna mess with you. You big. Anyways, well, this is a good, good cool little guy. I like playing with him. May do some uh, more Armada stuff. I like that line. Uh, may do some Beast Wars. I got a lot of Transformers. Um, I can do a lot of stuff. Um... So I just want to, you know, give him, I'll give him, I'm going to give him 10 Hell Hell Bros. Because he got me into collecting. And, um, uh, plus he probably looks good with the beard like I do. 
Um, anyways, I want to say thank y'all. I uh, hope y'all like this video. Um, Hell Hasbro as always. Uh, check us out on Sarah's Cast Uncut. And uh, good night, folks. Good night, folks. Hell Hasbro.